welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining us once again for more Total War Warhammer. Or as Mutana likes to abbreviate, Total Warhammer. It works, it's fine, it's delicious, it's sweet, sweet, nice. Hello, Mutana. Hello. Why say war twice? We got too much fighting to say it to That's long true. words like we... and stuff and junk. Words, loud noises. All right, we're fighting the battle. Death we to Astalia. are going to crush their souls, probably. And yeah, I'm gonna throw the match this time. Easy's he's gonna run our run our people into death. After how impressive it was that we won the first time, yeah. I'm just gonna tank it. It's gonna be Real like bad. Well, you know, you guys really gave it your all, and you're trying it again. Here's a participation award. You can win. Wait, that that's not participating. That's winning. No, no, not that. I mean, look at that poor guy. He lost an eye last battle. He's got an eye patch now. He does. It's probably not great. All right, so the difference this time around than what happened last time is their main army, their large army, is not the reinforcing one. It is the one that's actually attacking. So we, assuming that the same scenario happens where they reinforce from behind, it's not going to be as useful this time as it was last time. But it'll still probably pretty be pretty good, I would assume. Also, somehow we, we checked... Actually, after we broke off the last episode, we checked, and they had a few guys that were, like, fully healed. We're not sure how that even happened. Yeah, maybe the uh, army at least routed? one guy that's fully healed. I don't... Yeah. Maybe the army routed before the guy got fully into the battle? I'm not sure. All well, right, so anywho, let's what do kill you, these reinforcements. Do you think we should go reinforcements or after the main army? Oh, first? yeah. Let's kill the reinforcements and then make them come to us and be tired. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I will move us over to where we did last time. And do you want the same type of situation? However you want to do it. Uh, Alright, pretty much going to give you all but my three. There you go. You get the big army. I get the small army. I do the micromanaging. He does the macro managing. It works. It works well. Big picture, little picture. Uh, archers. I sort of wish that there was a way to have joint control if need be. Like, maybe you had a whole yeah. other button, you know? And I could see something was wrong, and I can select that unit by holding, like, control or something. Or shift or alt or whatever. And then I can move that guy to do whatever I needed. But, that's okay. It's one of those small things. Yeah. I think Would I'm, be handy. I think I'm going to keep my... Again, they're probably expecting that uh, the forces are more evenly divided amongst the two people. Yeah, I don't... No, they're, they're not... Well, <laughs> they're more evenly than they were last time because all those people last time died, but... <laughs> no, I meant between you, or the units you give oh. me and the units you control. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Well, when we did it in uh, the previous games that we played, um, I would... What was it? I would usually control the archers, and you control the frontline guys, and then I would also control the cavalry. So, all right, you ready? I am ready. Okay. Are we actually hidden over here? It says that we're hidden. I don't. Shouldn't there be? Oh, there is an icon. I'm like, shouldn't there be an icon that says that we're hidden? Oh, they didn't last very long. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Dude, just like, nope. Onward. Yep, he's gone. Alright, there's the musketeer guys coming up. Alright, I'm gonna start swooping in over here. You gotta shoot the, uh, the musket men. They are laying into you quite heavily. Alright, let's see what the spell does here. We're advancing the front line now. Oh, dang! That hurt! That hurt him quite badly, actually. Alright, I'm gonna fall back. Okay, 
Uh, you could kill that little straggler with your hero if you would. Guy on the left? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, he's just going to keep pestering. Oh, well, yeah, my heroes are all mounted. I forgot. Yeah, they're kind of wrecking fools over here. All right, they're done. Excellent. Is uh, gonna buff up secret? your group, it's Pritzcock. Buff up your group and should be okay. My dude, I think, is shooting ranged on one side. We've got his one hero, and that's about it. That's left. It's not even a hero. This is just a regular. Yeah, it is. Random. That swordsman's a hero. Oh, that's that's his leader. Yeah, it's not real here. It's just his. Lead. There he goes. Uh, I mean, I think he's a real hero. No, because real heroes are only single units. That's a single unit. Siegfried Pit Pritzcock. No, that's. I an see it. The swordsman. It's an entire group, isn't it? No, I'm looking at it and I see a health bar instead of individual units. Oh, maybe you're right. Darn right I am. Retired routing. Oh yeah, I guess I thought I saw a whole army there. I must have. Uh, Th there moved was. Away. I killed it. Okay. So I must have moved away when that happened, because. Yeah, you weren't crazy. It just died. All right. I am going to head off over here. Kill him. Kill the beast. I'll let you kill the guy. Looks right. like he has one more straggler there to the left. Yeah. He'll he'll end up leaving though, I, I think. Yeah, he it looks like he just they're they're full retreat now. Alright, set up again. Hopefully you you position yourself at the perfect spot once more to have them mortar themselves. I'm gonna try to get my uh my extra dudes over into a hidden position over here to flank the mortar guys. All right, four X in it. Oh, he's taking this time. There ready. we go. I killed the leader completely. Nice. Yeah, he, uh, for someone attacking us, he's sure pretty content with just hanging out. Yeah, he's on his way. He is moving slowly, though. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. Is that Give me a chance to slowly coming over here. Yeah, this. Give me a chance to kind of form up my archer lines a little bit. Yep, it's at four x. Hopefully, that's not causing you issues. Man, he's still moving super slow. I guess he's marching steadily, so he doesn't. Yeah, he's moving slow. He's reconvening with the pistoliers that are like completely freaked out. They're like, "Oh my god, I seen stuff that you wouldn't believe." All right, I'm ready to swoop through the trees at any point. Start annihilating his soul. But I need him fully committed to you before I do that. Your archer line is weird. You have one group that's just like diagonal. In the yeah. Of everything. It's whatever. Oh, there's the mortars. The firing. All right, I'm bringing it down to one X. That's some impressive mortar range. Send, send your uh, front line forward and your archers forward. Because I, I want to make sure that they're entangled with you when I go to the mortars. I don't want my heroes to die here. Alright. Oh no, I just shot some crap. Lord of the Glade, understood. Orders understood. To the Well, I'm mostly engaged with them for sure. All right, I will take out their mortar gas. So, oh, that was cool. I was able to use my spell at like point blank range. I've got uh, one group that I am dealing with on my own. They're uh, missile cavalry, though, so it's not gonna go super well. It's not gonna go super bad either, though. Yeah. 
Yep, try not to have anyone lose. You can Almost fire routed it. slash killed as one hero. We have like three people right next to a big group of your archers. I guess you're you're facing off against this hero right now. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on exactly. I'm gonna go after his other mortar group now. See if I can take them down. There you go. Yeah, rain down on him. There it is. And that should be just about it. No losses overall? I don't think so. Yeah, no. We, we definitely had the defensive uh, benefits there. It's quite the nice. Decisive yeah, I picked victory. off his two weak heroes and that pretty much routed the rest of his people. Spells and skills and stuff was a steam achievement I just got. Cool. Uh, yeah, we lost less than 100 by two. By one? By two. Yep, very few. Not too bad. Not too bad. Aru, aru, ha! Alright, murder them again. Ah, he lost his horse. They don't have much left. He got his horse. No. Nope. He's trying to retreat. Enemy killed in battle. Another, uh,. One of those. Yeah, I told you I picked up one of his heroes. A weapon was gained. Armor, piercing damage. Actually, you got two of them, didn't you? You got one. The other guy got away, I think. I didn't, like, kill him, kill him 100%. Well, we, we got the reinforced army first. We got that hero. Yeah. And then we got the other one of the two. Yeah. All right, the Azrai have long had a patchy relationship with the denizens of the forest. Whilst often the two peoples get along harmoniously, there have been issues. Lately, malevolent dryads have taken to kidnapping elven children for fun. When brought to justice, they remain unrepentant. It is, th it is their force, they say. To burn them would anger the forest, but surely they must be made to pay for their crimes against the Azrai? Alright, I can either get wildwood or burned dryads. I can either send them to the wildwood or I can burn them. Uh, I lose recruitment but I get plus six melee damage for all forces, or I get leadership for all forces, but still lose the Dryad recruitment. Wildwood it is. I will Don't not burn to move them. your army toward Karak Azul. Yeah, I will. I will do that. But first, before I do that, I'm going to head my, my big dude on over to... Onward! Can you can you, you can cancel? Okay. I'm gonna move him over the here. These are dark times. And then I am going to slaughter this guy. Auto resolve. And yeah, I that's really just nobody that's really over. wanted to see my uh Proud son of Yay. Wanted to see my forest dragons, but still can't quite do that. Hey, we got a, a an obsidian lodestone, a talisman. Lord of can you reach the other army, or are you gonna wait? Yeah, I can reach it, but I can't use my forest dragon if I reach it. I should be able to reach it. Why am I not moving? There he goes. I guess he wanted to confirm that I was gonna go. Um, I hope I don't lose anyone. You should. I don't know, but yep, I did. Last one. That's one of my my best units too. I'm like, I know I shouldn't lose anyone, but you know how this goes. Yeah, you didn't know. lose the rank five one. You lost the rank three one. Yeah. It's better. But isn't that gold? Oh, it is rank five. Okay, that must be like brass then. All right, whatever. Well, still super disappointing. Estalia right. done be dead. Yep, Estalia is gone now. And there's nothing for it at this point. Alright, where am I going to head now? Uh, I mean, I guess probably... Uh... I'm going to go down south and recapture and rebuild those cities, obviously. But first... Or uh, after... like, I'm going to do that with the army that just killed those two guys. But um, not sure what I'm going to do with my main army now. All right, did you want me to move within range to try to kill him? Yeah. Yeah, I want to start the siege if we can. 
Okay, but I'm in like the wrong stance for this, so if we actually well, do maybe, battle... Well, maybe wait a turn if need be. That's fine. If we do battle, it's not going to be great. So, alright, that's fine. Um, I don't think he'll do battle. Like, I'm pretty sure he's going to be cowardly about the whole ordeal. You're just hoping. Alright, let's get back up there. Because I only have one catapult. This is not a wall sieging army. Yeah. Really I strong. I still don't think guys. I have anything to actually siege stuff with. Right. Gyro Bomber. Bless you, I guess. I, I don't know I don't know how to respond to that. Gyro Bomber! Uh, okay. Um hmm. I have it. You want it. What do I do? Like I could go over and take on Gorsell. Claim that as one of my own. Yeah, I guess. My journey begins. I really should get like uh Oh that's right, I was trying to butter up the dwarves so they hate me less. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's continue that thing since I got ridiculously absurdly large amounts of money. Yeah. That last little deal. What brings you to the I mean, next, I think ancestors. you fight either Artos or Bretonia. Just keep working up that west side. I think that makes the most sense. Alright, giving him 8,000 monies. You're good on money now, right? So the 25,000. Ah, screw 000, that. Butter me up. No. You want to be able to go to peace with the dwarves at some point to get a big chunk of land, remember? Yeah, so yeah. I, they, I'm getting I'm getting 4,500 per turn, so I'm okay. If they hate me, that's gonna make it difficult. Right now we're at a 10, and it's improving. So yeah. we'll see. Is there? Let's see. Is there? How how what happy? I'm not happy enough for ancestors. me to get this. I wish I knew like what level you needed to be at in order to get them to like accept some of your stuff. You know. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. It would be a very good thing. Uh, let's see. What about you guys? Greetings on behalf oh, of the Empire. Military access. Now what brings you here with a sheath blade? Moderate? You rejected my offer. What about a non-aggression pact? Moderate? Uh -huh. you rejected that offer too? What about uh, military access? And what about I pay you? for? I'm, I'm employing the Mutanot method here. They rejected it. They didn't want my 300 monies. Ah, oh, it's alright. I'll keep my shillings to myself then, friend. Okay. Yeah, I think you should probably oh, take on Bretonia to con combine your two empires. I have a lot of skills to, to get. I'll, I'll wait. I'll do them in the next uh, turn. Since we just had like a million awesome battles. Alright, I'm assuming I... What do I do? Nothing. Okay, but what do I do? Do I just decline attack? Nice girl. Oh, I don't. I, I literally don't have to do anything. Okay. Like it popped up, and I had choices, and I'm like, I don't want to hit the wrong one and force us to fight a battle we can't win. Very literally, easily. don't have to do anything. But yeah, yeah, it's good. Normally, stuff like that pops up, then you have to wait for me to make a choice. You know. Yeah. Did you manage to catch anybody with your ghost dwarf? No, you went down yeah. south. I was chasing him down south. That's where and he the, went. The other guy went north, the stone mine tower guy. Yeah, I was looking for the. I don't. He'll disappear eventually. I really want to kill this agent of chaos. Yep, he's he's there at the Dragonhorn Mines. I see him. Of course. Failed. Yeah, two turns, my army will be done recruiting and from Barakbar. He's going to head down to Stone Mine Tower. We'll take that over, and then we'll start... Hopefully we'll be done with uh, your east side problems at that point. And you'll, you'll be able to just walk over everybody and be like, Yep, problem solved. Nailed it! I would sure think so. Reichland. Huh. Neat. And or weird. And or weird. Oh, Crack Eight Peaks loves you. Ah, of course lot. they do. I liberated them, finally. 
Is that the Great Green Pop Prophet? No, that's Nobber. His name is literally Nobber. Oh gosh. I have a quest issue. The Spear of uh, Cornus. Time marches ever onward. Uh, have three Wild Rider units in the following Lord's army. Oh, well, I guess that's my next goal. I'm going to need to get some amber for that. But that's okay. All right, let's do some skill ups here. Oh, look, he's teaching the crack ass gull. All right, what are we looking at here? Skill point up. I get the prey of Anath something. Missile resistance hex. By all means, summon the bloodthirsty goddess of the hunt to assist you, but always make sure you thank her afterwards. They can't move. That does sound important. I think I have an ability to prevent people from moving. That sounds useful. At least I feel it sounds useful. It's probably pretty useful. Alright, what are we doing with you, friend? You have that exact same spell already. Cool. And on this side of life... Alright, assassin. Lots an assassin. Of, lots of mumbling. That's the best way. It's the only way. It's the true way. Probably. Oh yeah, let's get campaign range movement thing going. Oh, I have two points. Interesting. Mm, missile damage sounds good. And finally, our our sorceress lady, our wizard. The amber spear. We got two points in that. That seemed to do pretty good. It'd be better if they were all marching in a big giant group because it, it like she becomes like a human, well, an elven ballista, which is pretty cool, for lack of a better term. On my way. Elven ballista, cool. pretty big deal. Just saying. I acquiesce to your request. All right, I should be able to claim that next turn around. I should be able to get out of the stance. Should I be in raiding stance or? Just normal stance over on the right hand side. So I want to make sure I, I'm not like. I want to be part of the battle. I would say regular stance is safest. Anything Unless you're possible. taking attrition and then maybe encampment. No, I'm not. I'm. I'm missing like six units and I'm not. I'm not losing anymore. So they're just chilling. I would just go regular stance. I don't know. You can. I mean, I guess. It's, well, is there a penalty for raiding? Uh, it says cannot move. Enables replenishment. Pull. Hold on, I'm checking that in camp first. A melee defense, leadership. Let's see, rating stance. Campaign movement range. We're winded. Penalties of the rated faction. It doesn't say that we won't be able to join. I think I'm going to go into a yeah. camp. And I think I'm going to actually hire some more people. Yeah. Even though it's expensive, I think I'm going to do it. I have no melee troops, so that's a problem. So I'm going to get a few of those. Expensive, but again, I have absurd amounts of money at this point. So I'll take it. Alright, and... it has got to be at least something else I should be doing over here. Yeah. Probably send some dude to Parvon. And then on this side, we're heading on over to... Don't trust it. This place. And I'm going to get Gorsel and get another Amber unit. Um... Yeah, once I have all this other stuff handled, I will start recruiting. Actually, let's see, we're sending you there. I should send you back to... Is it Waterfall? Palace? I think it is. Should send you back that way. Don't want to do that. King's Glade. What else? This I can upgrade. More money coming my way. Perfect. Alright, I think I am done. And after your turn, that is going to do it for the episode, unfortunately. Battles oh, suck. Problems. A battles suck a lot out of it. Out of the uh, time that we have. But I find them enjoyable, especially when we do what we did in the last two episodes this episode and the last one it was uh it was quite good epic battles yeah 
the the no no win chance complete turnaround crushing I mean that's that's always my favorite it was impressive Where does this chaos agent go chaos. that I cannot assassinate again oh um I see the dwarf I do not see the chaos yep, agent yep yep assassinate failure Sorry. good job but you not the dwarf you're the dwarf right on target I mean look at the dude he's got a pointy hat and he's got that staff. How can your ghost guy not kill him? He should be ashamed of himself. He should. Question is, I'm is not going to argue that point. But how ashamed should he be? Pretty, pretty ashamed, I would say. I think so. Yeah. I wonder if Tilia hates That's me or not. Greenskin does. Yeah, run away, coward. You don't hate me, I'm a delicate flower. Oh, I am? Why? Hey, a faction was destroyed. Ostland has been obliterated. Oh, the Vaults of Winter. Uh, Aranach lies under the eternal summer sun, scarcely knowing night. The, guest, the guests to this mystical and radiant part of the forest have been feasting endlessly, fattening themselves to the coming sacrifice. Ooh. Many whisper that this time is now, yet the guests could yet continue to feast themselves into a greater state of readiness. What do you think, my lord? Gorging or sacrifice? Plus 10% from income from all buildings, or I can get more growth income. Continue gorging. I want to become I, fatter. I do like a good gorge. Who doesn't? I cannot lie. Who doesn't? Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we're going to have to break out the episode here. It's unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. In the next episode, I will be gathering up a lot of the random destroyed buildings and places and making them my own, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to start... What's? I want to check the time before we go. How long on the siege? Nine turns. We okay, should so, be able to do it sooner, though. So nine, nine turns before the surrender, but how about before yeah. the attrition? I don't know. It has to be my turn to check. Let's see if I can tell. Usually Four it's like before half he runs that. Out, so. so in like six turns we should be able to attack. Maybe we'll actually do the siege if he doesn't retreat. We haven't done that yet. I have a dragon. Could be fun. Yeah. We'll, we'll have losses. Weaken him but, a little bit yeah. first. Yep. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until the very next episode, he is Mutanot. I am Bumpy McSquiggums, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>